I mean, let's let's talk about it. And by talk about it, I mean Babylon for God knows how many minutes trying to process it because it still doesn't make any sense. 34 points for LeBron on 13 of 21 shooting. 21 point fourth quarter comeback. Outscored the Clippers by himself in that frame, 19 to 16. Also chipped in four assists. Played the entire final frame. Guarded Kawhi Leonard. Oh, and did anyone mention that he's 38 years old in year 21? Here's a list of some of the most notable names over the last two decades whose careers have started and ended within the LeBron era. Dwayne Wade, Carmelo Anthony, Chris Bosh, Dwight Howard, Andre Iguodala, LaMarcus Aldridge, Marcus Alt, Blake Griffin, John Wall, DeMarcus Cousins, and Kemba Walker. That's a lot of totally respectable and even Hall of Fame careers, but LeBron set such a high bar that I can't help but just sort of look at those guys the same way, you know, like a parent looks at their kid when their friends are talking about the accomplishments of their kids. You know, it's just like that side eye where it's just kind of like, well, what have you done? Like, what's your, like LeBron's still playing. What's your excuse? Yeah, you were great, but LeBron's even greater. What, like, come on, what are you doing with your life? I still think it's one of the funniest things ever that when Dirk and Vince Carter were in their 20 plus seasons, uh, we used to sort of view everything they did the same way you view, you know, the stuff done by a baby where like everything they do is a miracle or even an old person where like just the fact that they're out there on the court and like physically moving their legs back and forth like you just gotta respect them for toughing it out <laughs> meanwhile if lebron who yeah he's played similar amount of years as those guys but has way more minutes on his odometer if he doesn't lead the lakers to a championship and if he doesn't win a finals mvp in that process it will actually be used against him. Twitter trolls will call him out, say he sucks, how this is why he can't possibly be better than MJ. God forbid he makes the finals again and loses. I say this not to reignite the GOAT debate, but I do think it's funny how LeBron's longevity is factored into the conversation. Think about it like this. I give you the option between two phones. One is slightly better than the other, but the one that's slightly worse is going to last you way longer. The choice would be obvious, right? Every single time you pick the one that's going to last you so much longer. Now, obviously it's not a one-to-one -one comparison because phones don't have the autonomy to compete in some sort of competition to prove which is the greatest phone each year. But that argument checks out for so many different aspects of life. And yet at times it feels like it's used against LeBron. We're like, yeah, of course he has better stats than MJ. He's played longer. Yeah, that's not by accident. Accident, okay? It takes an insane amount of time and dedication to just reach year 21, let alone be this great in it. And I know it can get repetitive to hear how much we need to appreciate this guy, but we do. This kind of longevity at this level has never happened before. I don't know if it's ever gonna happen again. So we really should enjoy it while it lasts. Unless you're a Clippers fan, then you should you should figure out how your team let a 21 point slip away in under 12 minutes, because that was that was really bad.